Hi guys, it's James Silver here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Thanks for tuning in to another Hashtags Tips Tuesday. Uh, today we are on our fourth in our eight part seller tips uh, series and we are gonna be talking about choosing the right agent to list your house. So what you'll find with different agents is everyone has their own sort of strengths and weaknesses and styles uh, of going about business. Uh, so it's really important to make sure that their attributes align with what you're looking for in an agent. To make sure that these things do line up, you shouldn't be afraid to ask them questions about their experience, uh, if they've sold property similar to yours, uh, what their unique marketing approach could be that's gonna differentiate your property against the other houses for sale out there. Anything that they're doing that's unique and most people aren't, that's gonna be to your advantage. Uh, so you should most definitely try and find out what exactly that is. Once you know that they kind of are the, the sort of agent that's going to represent you well and you feel like you can build a good rapport and relationship with them come to understand the commission structure and the pay structure that there is uh, you'll find that there's different agents and different brokerages that offer different kinds of services um, I'm not going to get into too much what all of them are but the main thing I will say is you get what you pay for so as with most things in life if you cheap out and you do something with the lowest cost that you possibly can the chances are the level of service and the uh, additional services that the, the agents providing you are going to be somewhat lower than if you pay for someone who does a, a full service approach where they're covering absolutely every aspect um, of the business. So as well as getting what you pay for, the other thing that's really key to look for is just how strong a negotiator uh, the agent is. Um, in real simple terms, if you're having a conversation with them about the commission that's involved and how that's structured uh, and they maybe say that they're gonna charge this sort of percentage and you come back with a counter, if they instantly come down to your counter without any sort of hesitation, it's maybe worth thinking about how strong a negotiator they are because if that's how quickly they, they come down from their original price uh, when it's something that has a direct impact on their bank balance, maybe they're not gonna do such a good job if it's a tough, a tough negotiation situation uh, with the buyer of your property as well. So if you like the video, please do like it, subscribe to the channel for more Hashtag Tips Tuesdays. Uh, please do go ahead and follow me on the other social media, my main three, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All of them are at jsilverrealtor. Uh, I look forward to catching up with you next time and see you later. Thank you.